hey y'all it's thursday it's friday eve we're there like man we're so close to the finish line you guys we can touch it we already got one foot over the line we're just waiting to take our other foot and cross it so today is going to start a two-day project for you guys so tune in to the video to um look at exactly what you need to do if you need a recap if you need some help just i'm going to post the same video twice for today and tomorrow that way you guys understand how to do the project with that being said here's my rap quote for the day remember i'm going to tell you all the artists and songs on friday so today's quote is love is not just the verb it's you looking in the mirror let me say it one more time love is not just the verb it's you looking in the mirror this song is actually pretty recent as well maybe had come out maybe about three or four years ago so again tell me the name of the song the name of the artist and don't go googling these quotes y'all actually think about it and again drop me some songs i can make a playlist and listen to it this summer so um just stay tuned for the video that's coming up next it'll explain the project again if you have any questions you need any help email me at kbride4 at rvaschools.net share it to me i can help you out I'm typically, typically always around some type of device where I can help you. So, yeah. Happy graphing, guys. So, here we are. Last assignment. Um, I'm going to have this assignment go over two days because it's a lot of work. So, today I want you guys to make three different types of graphs. I was going to have you guys do a line plot, but that's kind of hard to do on the computer. So, I just needed a histogram, a stem and leaf, and a circle graph. So, the directions today you will use data from weather underground to compare the temperatures of may in 2019 and in 2020 in richmond you will go to this link you'll click here and scroll down to the daily observations for may 2019 and then click on this link to view may 2020 after going to these websites i want you to graph the two months using circle graphs histograms and stem and leaf plants whoa where did that come from stem and leaf plots you may use either the maximum or minimum temperatures, or you can use the average. It is your choice. After you have created your graphs, I want you to tell me about your observations. Was 2019 warmer or cooler than May 2020? What trends, if any, did you notice? And feel free to state any other observations or questions that you have. Happy graphing. So I want to go to this link and show you guys exactly what I mean. So as you can see, it gives you all this data and you scroll down here and it will give you the temperature for every single day in May, it gives you the max, the minimum and the average. I've been using the maximum temperatures, but feel free to use whatever one you want to. There's no right or wrong way to use the data. All right, so I'm going to show you how I did mine. So I used, oh, and I forgot. These are these links down here that help you make some graphs. That way you don't have to try to figure out how to do it or do it on the computer. This way it already does it for you and you just copy and paste. So I'm using August 2019 temperatures. So I went to the website and I changed mine to August and hit view. I used the maximum temperatures and I copied them into an Excel spreadsheet here to make my life so much easier. Whoops. And I'm going to take all of this data and I'm going to put it into my first. So this is the. I'm going to go here and go to the stem and leaf. And I'm going to paste it there, calculate it. And you see how it kind of gives you your minimum, your maximum, your range. Then if you come down here.
supposed to give you when you can copy. Okay. Interesting, when I did this earlier, it gave me a separate one. But you know what? <clears throat> Let me just take a screenshot of it. So there's my stem and leaf. Come back over here to August and insert my picture. So there's my stem and leaf. Then I would come here to my histogram. And I would copy the next, excuse me, paste the same data. And it gives me the, it makes the intervals for me. And it gives me a frequency table. And I'm going to copy my image. And then I'm going to copy my frequency table as well. You know, sometimes you just don't want to be copied. So just screenshot that there. All right, and so now that I have this data, I'm gonna come over here to my circle graph. I'm gonna hit the drop down arrow here and hit open source. And remember our intervals. So my first interval was 79 to 83. So that's what I'm going to type there. 79 to 83. And I had 5. My second interval was 84 to 88. Eight in that interval. My third was 89 to 93, which is where the bulk of my temperature was. 89 to 93, I had 13. And for the last one was 94 to 98. I had four. And it gives you a nice little circle graph there. It tells you your percentages. And of course, we expected our 89 to 93 to have the largest percentage. And that is how you do it. It will, and then you come back to your Google Slides and you hit update with your new data input. And there are four different graphs. So to compare this to 2020, Actually, I can't compare it to 2020. Um, let's compare it to 2018. So I could say the same thing and you would do the same thing to put in your data for the previous years and then just kind of compare and contrast. Um, I probably think, not probably, I think that August was pretty mild both years. I think this year you'll actually see an interesting shift in May. So if you have any questions, again, you can email me. And let me type my email down here. Again, 
Email me at kbradford at rvaschools.net. Stay safe. Happy summer. And enjoy your break, guys.